Hey everyone, I'm Joey. Today I'll show you how to break down my favorite balloon arch, which I sell as my medium balloon arch. I also offer a small balloon arch without an internal frame and a large balloon arch that I also have video tutorials for constructing. This super affordable, high quality balloon arch from Amazon is very easy to set up. It consists of two bases that are weighted down by water bag weights. The frame itself is a series of interconnected flexible rods similar to tent poles. For an outdoor event, I attach two paracord tie lines to the top of the balloon arch and secure them in front and behind the arch to stabilize it from the wind. Attachment points can be tree limbs, light posts, pillars, tent frames, staking it into the ground, or whatever you can find in the surrounding area that you can use to secure your balloon arch. For this arch, I have it staked in the ground, so the first thing I'm going to do is pull the stakes out and untie the paracord. Next, I'm going to move the arch onto the bricks because when I pop all of my balloons, it will be much easier to clean up if they are all popped on a flat surface rather than in grass. There's a good chance that when you're moving your balloon arch that it will tip over without the paracord rope security attachments on a windy day. I also try to pop the balloons as close to a trash can as possible or bring a trash can to the balloon arch and luckily there's a trash can right behind me. Once I've got both of my bases on the hard surface, I'll start popping. You'll notice as I'm popping the balloons, I'm pulling the balloon arch towards me so that I'm essentially staying in the same place. This is easy because you don't have to move as much and it also keeps the popped balloons all in the same spot on the ground instead of having a 20 foot line of balloons on the ground. If you're gaining anything from this video, don't forget to hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. That's a great free way you can show your support. Next, I empty the water from the water bag weights. I usually do this in an outdoor drain, a bush, or into the grass as long as I'm spreading out the water and not creating a puddle. I roll the water bags as I empty them to try to get out every single last drop of water. I haven't been successful yet, but this does do a pretty good job of getting all the air and water out of the bags. I used fishing line to secure all of my quads to each other and to the arch frame, so I'm going to use scissors to cut off the fishing line and any popped balloons still tied to the frame as I fold up the flexible rod frame. I'm going to roll up my paracord so that it's neat and doesn't get tangled around all of my other supplies and so that it's ready to go for my next event. The last thing I'll do is sweep the balloons into a pile and get them into a trash can. Once I've cleaned up my mess so that the area looks like it did before I built the balloon arch, I'll pack up my paracord, break down my bases, and load the rest of my supplies into my bag and head out. If this was helpful or entertaining, don't forget to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps my channel and it's a super small, free way you can show your support. You can subscribe to my channel for more balloon tutorials, personal finance, and business tips. Let me know in the comments below what content you'd like to see next. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Joey. I'll see you next time.